situation? It's my thing. I do what I want to do. But that's not how it works. God got order. He got the way he wants everything to be done in our lives. Either we come conform to it or we don't. Ain't no in between. Can I tell you? Do it or don't do it. I don't know why we were sitting here thinking that we can do what we want and go sweep to the city. There ain't nobody going sweep to the city. Make some part of the righteous go sense and make it in. Where should the ungodly appear? You think you're going to get up there and say, oh, you know I gave my tithes. You know I drove the van. I did Sunday school. I sung on the well to do choir. I did this. He said, well, did you do my work? Work on us, Jesus. Because I want to have power with God. When you got power with God, when you come into a situation, it should change the atmosphere. If you come in an atmosphere and it still remains the same, then watch yourself. Somebody said, work on me, Jesus. Because hmm. I got a race to run. I got a race to run. And I want to get what God got for me. I'm made most miserable if I think this is it. I got to stand before God. One day, glory to God, he's going to come and he's going to open my book. And he's going to read that you're like, one thing about God, he do not have amnesia. That's all right. I might have forgot, but God don't forget. One thing about God, he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He don't change. You might change, but God don't not change. Work on me, Jesus. Because God is wanting something from us. Hmm. I want to use this other scripture because it is some of us, we have all good intentions. We started out and God was the apple of our eye. But something along the line. And can I tell you, it wasn't outside the church. It was in. Come on now. Some other persuasion came and started speaking into your ear. That's why you got to watch who you listen to. Hallelujah. How are you know whether they're credible? If their life is lined up with the word of God, if they're talking against that word, then you know what they Satan, get out of my ear. People don't know they can plant seeds in your life. You meant well. You wanted God to work on you. And somebody came and tell you that it don't take all of that. That's the life. That is where we live in. The lay out of sea in church. The lukewarm church. Because people don't want to change. Yes, 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 yes. They don't want to change no more. No. They want to do them. And if you say something to them, right up in this building that we set aside for God's temple, they'll curse you out. Because we in that time and season. People don't want to conform to the word of God anymore. All they want to do is come in church and have a good time. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, what is it going to profit you just to have a good time and die and lose your soul? Who are you going to allow to come and evade your space to mess you up, to stop God from working on your life with their lives? Here in Galatians, I'm going to read this. I'm going to get out of the way. Because I know some people's on edge. But I want to tell you, if you really want God, he said, I can work on you today. Today could be your new start. The day you hear my voice. Hard not your heart. Don't do those crocodile tears. But Lord, our mind is made up. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to conform to your word. Lord, I give up. I surrender. Work on me, Jesus. I told people I don't care how 
how gifted you may be. Hmm. Ain't no old flowing from it. I don't want to touch it because it could be cursed. We just want gifted people, not anointed people no more. That's all right. That's all right. All I want is your gift and your talent. What is that? And the church is going to hell. Because the oil is not flowing in the sanctuary. The oil got to flow. That's the only way people are going to get healed, delivered, and set free. That's the only way people are going to get convicted. No conviction in the church. They say what they want, do what they want, and don't care. But when God is working on you, when you do something, you know you wrong, you repent. Not only do you repent to God, you go back to that person and you get it right. You don't act like you ain't never did it. You acknowledge that I was wrong. I was out of alignment. But nowadays, we act like we never did nothing. Why? Because there's no conviction. I promise y'all, I had a whole note and it wasn't this. Hmm. Galatians, the fifth chapter, the seventh and the eighth verse. You was you was running well. You got started real good. That's all right. Hmm. And somewhere along the line. Somewhere. Hmm. Somewhere. I tell my young men all the time, who had persuaded you That's right. that God wasn't enough? Now right. huh? we're into this Illuminati. We're into this astronomy, all of this other stuff. Who told you that God wasn't enough? That's right. That's all 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 right. You did run well. Who did hinder you? You that ye should not obey the truth. What is truth? God's word is truth. Not what I say, not what I feel, not what I think I want to do. I got to come in alignment with the word of God said, do it, do it. He said, don't do it. Leave it alone. He means just what he means. You know what's hindering you? Not obeying the truth. God ain't short of nothing. It's because we won't come in alignment. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. This persuasion cometh not of me, it's not of God. I told you, if any man comes with any other gospel, any, other way. any way they think, I think we should do church this way. And it does not line up with the word of God. It is not of God. You would know them by the fruit that they have. They can't speak one thing and live another. God is not double-minded. You got to understand that. They got to live with their speaking. Here, Apostle Paul gives us an illustration. When we started, we obeyed. For somewhere along the line, we got above us. Somebody say, you ain't got to do this. How you got those, hmm, those bitch pastors? They ain't in the back, the bitch pastors. Oh, don't listen to her. You don't take all that. You ain't got to do all that. Do this and do that and do this, do that. You was persuaded to be disobedient to God's word. But today, God said, I'm sending a law to tell you I'm ready to work on you and bring you back You still got breath in your body. It ain't over. You can repent and turn away and turn back to God's word. It's not over. Now I can tell you, it might hinder you. It might take you a little 